Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So today's class, I want to start with a question. Okay, we have already studied about distance and displacement, right? You all know yes, that. Yes. Now, from this figure, I want you to find out that what is the distance covered and what is the displacement of the body. But what is the question? Let me explain the diagram first. As I have written here, A is the starting point. So from A, a person has started his journey. He went to two kilometers and then, then C to D, then D to E, then E to F. F is the final point. He stopped here. Okay. So I want to know from yes, you, what is the total distance covered and what is the displacement? So I want to see how many of you raise your hand. Sir, can you, Sir, can you repeat the more? question? Yeah, the question yes. is, a person started his journey from A, he went to B, then C, then D, then E, then F. He stopped here. So for yes. this journey, what is the distance and what is the displacement? I will see who can raise his or her hand first. first. Is there anyone? I will take the picture of the attendance again. Is there anyone? No one? Okay, Fatima Akhtar. Yes. Fatima Akhtar. Can you tell me what is the distance covered? Fatima Akhtar, we are waiting for your answer. Sir, I didn't raise my hand. I can see that you raised your hand. Okay, anyway. Anyone else? Eva? No? Sir, this uh, displacement is 12 kilometer. Displacement is 12 kilometer. Okay. Two. And what is the distance yeah. covered? Uh... Confusion. Okay, confused. Eh? Let us remove our confusion. So, distance, okay. according to the definition, what is the distance covered? That is the total path that you have covered. Total path covered. So, if I say you went to uh, went from A to F, which is the path? This is the path, right? So, oh, okay. Of them. If you add 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 2, total 12 kilometer distance yeah. covered. So the distance oh. covered, it will be 12 it's... kilometer. Okay. 12 kilometer distance you have covered. Now let us take a look at the definition of the uh, displacement. Can anybody read it out loud for me? Oh, sorry, kilometer. I have already given you the definition, right? Can anybody read it out from their note? No. Please yes, remember, sir. it is my duty to inform you that there are marks for class performance and I take it very seriously, okay? During the class, we observe who are being sir, asked my questions. Yes, sir. Can I read it out? That, that's why it's very important for you to respond when the class is okay, going sir. Responsive. Okay, can I? Yes, what I'm, the... I'm reading. The direct distance between the initial and final point of a journey is called displacement. Direct distance, right? Yeah. Or yes, sir. Distance between two points. Which two points? The starting initial point, and final. Point and the final point, right? Starting point. And yes, sir. Point. So, this is our starting yes, point. A. Which is yes. the point? F. What is the direct distance between them? Five. Five. Oh, okay. okay. So the yes. between the initial point and the final point, it is five kilometer. Five. Okay. Yes. So that is why displacement. It will not be twelve kilometer. It will be five okay. kilometer. Okay. So if we have understood. Oh. Now we should I come to the video. answer this question. Okay. Yes. Let us say okay, a person went from A to B, he covered I cannot say and then he came back again to point A, 
and this time he covered three kilometer. Now, can you tell me what is the distance that he covered and what is the displacement of him? Mm. Let me tell you again, he started from A, went to B, and then from B, he came to A again. What is the distance covered? Two kilometer. Five. Two kilometer. Anybody um, else? Wait, wait, wait. Opinion, two kilometer. Five. Distance is the total distance uh, path covered. So when he went from A to B, he covered two kilometers. Yeah. Then again, when he came back from B to A, he covered five. Kilometers. What is the total? Five. 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 Distance will be five kilometers here. Okay. Yeah. Now, yes. One. Yeah. one, we have one opinion, that is the displacement is one. Okay, any other opinion? Uh, two. Two. Three. two. So one, one. Okay, one, two, three. three four. We will list up. <laughs> no, 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 wait. No, no. There should be a perfect answer. Uh, okay, let us displacement. Our, our given answers are correct or not, okay? Let us check. Yes, sir. To yes, find out displacement, Always ask yourself three questions. How many questions? Three questions. Three questions. Number one question is, what is the starting point? Uh, a. a. Is the start, a. starting point? starting point is A. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What is the starting point? F. Uh, F. Uh, B. 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 Is talking about this, right? Yes. For this one, Starting point is F. A, final point is F. Number F, two, yeah. You need to ask yourself what is the distance between these two points? The direct distance. The direct five, distance. Five, 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 five. five. Direct distance five. is equal to five kilometers. So this five kilometer will be your displacement. Now using yeah. three question, kindly find out what is the displacement for this case. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Is yes. the starting point? Will... So final point. It is this one. Let us go through. What is the starting point of this journey? A. 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 Final point. B. F. B. 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 A. B. Okay. Let us check whether B is the final point or not. Final no, sir. A. Is the point where we stopped. Right. So oh, okay. Oh no, it's A. 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 So again mm -hmm. from B, I came to A. So where did yeah. I A. 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 A only. A is the final point. So what is the distance between A? It is the same point. Zero. What is the same? Uh, Three. Same point. Okay. What is the distance between the same point? You, you see, you started from A, you went to B and came back again to A. One, one, one. How can no. it? Okay, five, 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 five. five. Zero. 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 Uh, maybe two, maybe two. Zero. 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 Oh, zero. <laughs> zero because oh. you uh, started from a point and came back to and that point. So what is the difference oh. between your start and final point? Zero. 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 Oh. So let's say you started from a point, you went somewhere, you traveled around the world, and you came back yeah. to the same point for, from where you started. Your displacement is zero because you have not been displaced. Yes. Oh, okay, sir. Means we didn't talk distance. We did displacement. displacement Position change with the hobby. Tumi No, you are at the same no, position. No. Same so, point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did not go through any displacement. Yes, sir. 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 ঠিক আগে দিয়ে ও ঠিক সেন্ট জায়গায় বলটা রেখে দিছে তুমি সকালে যে 
একটু পরে স্কুল থেকে এসে দেখলে কি বলটা এখনো এখানে তুমি কি বলবা বলটা কি ডিসপ্লেস হইছে নো নো আমি কিন্তু এই ধরনের কোয়েশন পরীক্ষা দিতে খুব পছন্দ করি ওকে যেগুলো মানে বেসিক চেক করা যায় কারণ বইতে ডেফিনেটলি সবকিছু থাকবে না তোমরা আশা করি এতদিন এটা বুঝে গেছো ঠিক আছে বই থেকে তোমরা জীবনে পাবা না আরো কিছু জানতে হবে তো সেগুলো আমরা মানে বোঝানোর জন্য ক্লাসে অনেক <laughs> and if they only go through the book they will definitely not be able to answer this type of questions which were discussed in the class right okay yes sir so that is why these are important to understand okay then did i discuss about uniform acceleration and non uniform acceleration yes no sir. you said you will today do it uniform velocity sir you said today you will okay we I have did. done sounds to discuss eh? okay no problem uniform acceleration yes, and non uniform acceleration okay we yes. know, let us revise what acceleration okay acceleration is the rate, the rate of change of velocity with respect of respect to time is called acceleration the rate of change of velocity sumaiya right yeah. with respect of yes, time is called acceleration It's easy definition. Yes, in how many ways the velocity might change. Okay? So, okay, sir. This is case one. And with time, let us observe the, how the velocity is changing. When time was zero, let us say velocity was zero. That means the body was at rest. When I will yes. say the velocity is zero, that means the body is not moving. So, if the body, yes. the body is at rest according to physics. Okay? Then after mm-hmm. one okay time here it is in second and velocity it is in meter per second so after one second, uh, the velocity became 5 and then after 2 second velocity became 10 after 3 second velocity became 15 so this is the case of a car okay now let us see another car okay and that one is our case 2 so with time let us observe how the velocity is changing okay so uh, one and uh, after two seconds the velocity is changing the velocity is maintaining um, then after four seconds the velocity might be um, hurting okay so this is one case okay now let us try to understand the nature of change of velocity mm-hmm. In both the cases, we can agree that with time, the velocity is changing. As you can see, the time is changing, the velocity is changing. After one second, the velocity became 5 from 0. Then it became 5. So definitely there has been a change of velocity. And yes. the velocity became 10. So another change of velocity. The value of velocity is not same. That means it is changing. Yeah. Yes. In both the case, the velocity is changing. But what is the nature of change? At what rate it is changing? Please try to understand. In both the case, there is change of velocity. But acceleration is not about only change of velocity. It is about the rate of change of velocity. The rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So with time, yeah. let us see. Within okay. one second, the velocity has changed how much? Five, five, five seconds. Five seconds. Five, second. five meters. The velocity has changed. Another More five. 
Another five. Again, five. Five. Here, hmm. the rate of change of velocity for this one second, this is acceleration. For this, yeah. one, this is acceleration. For this one second, this is acceleration. So is the acceleration changing? No, no, no. no. It is uniform. So it is uniform acceleration. Yeah. Uniform acceleration. Acceleration. Remember, this is the acceleration for the first second. This is the acceleration for the second second. And this is the yeah. acceleration for the third second. So all for all the time, we are getting the same value of acceleration and same value of yeah. not changing. So whenever something is not changing, we say this is uniform. Remember? Yes. 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 Sir, so so you're writing. Uh -huh, so your writing is not clear. Clear. Yes. One, yeah, it's, one student it's also told me. Yes, teacher, sir. That is why the writing I is. Video is the video. So this is the case here. Let us take a look at the second case. For this one second, how much the velocity changed? Five. 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 So then again five, then two. In yes. It became five. 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 Two. Again here. No, no, no. One, one. Two. One, one. 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 For the first second, it is the acceleration. Five. For the next yeah. second, what is acceleration? Two. 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 Acceleration is again five. For the next one second, acceleration is again one. Acceleration yeah. No difference. So non-uniform acceleration. Non-uniform acceleration. Non-uniform. That means they will change. They will not remain same. Non-uniform acceleration. So this is the yes. difference. Okay. Now, if you are clear with uniform acceleration and non-uniform acceleration, then I will uh, discuss about case three. There is uh, another case. Okay. So can I erase it? Okay. Oh. Yeah, yes. 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 Another case. Okay. Now, this is case three. And with time, we are going to observe the change of velocity, okay? Now, when the time was zero, the velocity was 10 meter per second. After one second, the velocity 10 meter per second. After two seconds, the velocity is 10 meter per second. After three, it is 10 meter per second. After four, this is still 10 meter per second. Right? Sometimes yes. it happens. Correct or not? Yes. What is going on here? Alif. Everyone can see what Ali wrote. Yes, yes sir. We can see the message. So, to whom should I forward this? Oh, sir, it's okay. I will forward this to two person. Can you guess? Principal. Yes, yes, sir. sir. <laughs> Case three. Now let us observe the change of velocity. In this one second, what is the change of velocity? Uh, zero. 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 No change of velocity. Yes. There is no change of velocity. So if there is no change of velocity, there will be no acceleration. That means acceleration will be equal to zero. Is it OK? Yes. So the rate of change of velocity will be equal to zero. Zero. Yes, sir. In the case where we can say the velocity is uniform, it is uniform velocity because velocity is not changing, okay? And acceleration is... Now we have to write 14 